Hi, I'm Michael Stedman, and I'm here today to tell you about something pretty amazing that uh, I just found out about. My wife and I just returned from a medical symposium in Salt Lake City, and what we found out there just shocked us because it's like, like the medical breakthrough of the century for us. Uh, we have a wellness center in uh, Montana, and we're always dealing with people that are looking for better health. Well, in this symposium, all these doctors were uh, talking about this one phenomenal new discovery. It's not actually that new, but um, it's based on the research of Dr. Louis Ignaro that won the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1998. And it was uh, about his research on L-arginine. And so these doctors were thrown about all this information that had been uh, researched about arginine and the, its effects on the, on the body. They were making statements like I've never heard anybody make statements before in the, the medical field. Like, there doesn't have to be any more heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, those type of things, and uh, the reversal of diabetes, and that's, that's huge. Um, and so that's what I'm here to talk to you about. Now in the past, the only way they could do anything about these conditions were with drugs. And uh, this is non-pharmaceutical, or they could also operate, which that doesn't have to happen anymore, thank goodness. At our wellness center, we're always looking for the best natural approach to deal with whatever health problem someone is having. And with them making these type of claims, boy, this is just what we've been looking for for a long time. It's going to help a lot of people. He's a practicing endocrinologist of over 30 years uh, working out of California. Being that he worked in endocrinology, he dealt with a lot of diabetics. And what he found is when he used the arginine protocols that he had, that including lowering the diabetic's insulin uh, needs, it was also removing the plaque from their arteries, hearts, capillaries, veins, and that was lowering their blood pressure and making everything working better. And so uh, it just so happens that diabetics are a high risk for heart condition. Uh, that's one of the side effects of the diabetes. Dr. Joe's story is that uh, he had to go into the hospital for a medical condition and they ran a CAT scan. And what they found out was that at 37, he had the veins and arteries of an 80-year-old. And they just told him to go home and that if he lived past the heart attack he was going to have, they would work with him. Well, he went home and uh, started working on researching the best way to take care of this. And I guess you would say he had a vested interest in uh, finding a solution. And so he came up with the arginine formulas. And those formulas have been changing uh, and he's been improving them. So much so that when he went back to the doctors um, after a, a, a period of time, he uh, found out that he had the veins and arteries of like uh, in his mid-20s, which now 
he has the, the veins and arteries of a 17-year-old because his formulas have just increased in their effectancy. And uh, so that's pretty amazing. Okay, so here is how uh, L-arginine works. Now, L-arginine is an amino acid, and when it's taken into the body, it creates a gas, nitric oxide. And when nitric oxide is in the bloodstream, it creates an effect that is like a massaging of the veins and arteries, and it breaks up the uh, plaque, which is a, is a calcified plaque. Um, and when it does that, it also helps the elasticity that throughout the years, as, as people get older, that you, you've heard of hardening of the arteries, as, uh, arterial sclerosis. Well, it, in massaging those, uh, those arteries and veins, it brings back that el elasticity. And that's, you know, it opens up all the little capillaries everywhere. And that's one of the, the healing that's going on in the body because once you get that increased blood flow, it goes everywhere. Everywhere is inf uh, affected. And <laughs> that's why so many other conditions are influenced by having this in your system. Working in conjunction with Duke, Harvard, and Stanford Medical Schools, uh, using Dr. Joe's protocols, there is a long list of ailments that um, this arginine treatment has been successful in reversing. And let me just name a few. There's uh, heart disease, which we've mentioned, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, sexual dysfunction, no more Viagra, all right? Um, high cholesterol, uh, osteoporosis, which we'll talk a little bit about in just a little bit, um, dementia, Alzheimer's, people with chronic pain, uh, migraine headaches, arthritis, depression, menopause, cancer. Now, um, when I talk about cancer, you know, I'm not claiming that it's a cure for cancer, but because of the constituents of this product that I'm going to be telling you about, it helps to encapsulate cancer cells so that they don't multiply. Well, that's a big deal. And uh, people with lack of energy. That's uh, my, uh, my mother is always saying that she's tired of waking up in the morning and being tired already. I, I, I know I've heard that from a lot of people. I just want you to know that uh, taking arginine is safe for people with stents, uh, with replacement valves, hearts, whatever, uh, pregnant women. Uh, it's, it's just bringing on improved health. Um, so there's been no uh, ill effects. A lot of these diseases that I've just mentioned, you only think about most of the time with middle-aged to older people. But here is uh, something to think about. It's happening younger and with younger people all the time. Um, and another way that arginine is very useful for younger people, because <clears throat> they may not be thinking about their health. They're usually thinking about the outside of the body, making that more appealing. Um, I know you know who you are. Um, they don't always know that if you look good on the outside, doesn't mean you're always good on the inside, uh, or that you're healthy on the inside. But even the arginine, they find it helps to produce the uh, human growth hormone, which the body, it, it starts subsiding in um, 